Welcome back everyone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your Wi-Fi issues on your laptop if you're running Linux and you can't get your Wi-Fi network to show up. So, here's a quick story. My nephew has gone off to college and needed a laptop, so I gave him mine. I still needed one, so I went and picked up the Acer Aspire 315. Now, out of the box, of course, the laptop was running Windows 11. I don't like Windows. I ripped Windows off and installed Linux Mint, the distro of my choice. If you'd like to learn about Linux Mint and how to install it on your computer, I'll post a video on my Patreon detailing all of it. So, in the process of setting up Windows to install Linux, I noticed the Wi-Fi was already working, as it should. However, when I installed Linux Mint, all of a sudden the Wi-Fi quit working, and I got this symbol. Now, long story short, I scoured Linux forums and on Reddit and the official webpage and couldn't find any answers. Folks were helpful, but didn't have the fix that I needed. One guy did discover that per my particular Wi-Fi card, Linux didn't have the drivers for it. So I was basically out of luck until I found this video. This creator specifically found and showed how to fix my Wi-Fi. The video is long, so I'll give you the finer points. The basic problem was that Linux didn't have drivers for my specific Wi-Fi card, so I needed to replace it. He instructed to simply go onto eBay and find an Intel-based Wi-Fi card, because apparently they support Linux-based systems. So that's what I did. I went onto eBay and found a Wi-Fi card that looked similar to mine and had the same basic specs as far as the Gigahertz it supported, and bought it. They are really affordable, actually card arrived and I replaced it. But let me show you how to do that. First, turn off your machine, then flip it over. Also, if you didn't ha if you don't have an iFixit kit, I would highly suggest picking one up if you like to tinker with electronics like I do. It has all the tools you need for either building or taking apart electronics. Anyways, take out the screwdriver and find a screw head that fits the screws on the back of the laptop and then take out all the screws and place them in the provided cover in the iFixit kit. Next, take out one of the prying tools very and very carefully pry out the back of the laptop. Again, be very careful. If you have a laptop similar to mine, the back of it simply snaps off if you, as you go around the edges. Once you have the back off, look for the Wi-Fi card. It should look something like this. Pull out your tweezers and very carefully wiggle on the two connecting power cables. Then unscrew the Wi-Fi card and gently pull it out. Once you have the non-functioning Wi-Fi card in hand, you're going to very carefully walk it over to the trash can and throw it away. Next, you're going to basically reverse the process with the new Wi-Fi card. Pull it out and gently slide it into the slot then screw it down. Then very carefully grab the two power connecting cables with your tweezers and connect them to the new card. They are tiny connectors, so I found getting them into place and then lightly pressing down as I wiggle the cables with the tweezers. You should feel a little give as they fall into place. Then once they're securely in place, simply put the back plate back on, put in all the screws, and turn the machine back on. Your Wi-Fi should now be working with all your available connections showing just like this. Now just connect to your Wi-Fi and enjoy. I hope this video helps you folks that have this issue and find this to be your fix. Thanks for watching folks, and we'll see you in the next one.